Let's now get an update on the location of Typhoon Nona and a tropical depression the Weather Bureau is monitoring. Rex Remitio reports from Pagasa. Typhoon Nona slightly weakens as it approaches the West Philippine Sea. Nona is packing winds of 130 kilometers per hour and gustiness of up to 160 kilometers per hour. Pagasa weather forecaster Sam Duran says Nona might further weaken into a severe tropical storm this afternoon. As of 4 a.m., Nona was spotted 125 kilometers northwest of Calapan City in Oriental Mindoro. Nona is moving west-northwest at 9 kilometers per hour. Duran says it might speed up once it hovers through the West Philippine Sea. Signal number 3 is still up over northern Occidental Mindoro, including Lubang Island. Signal number 2 is hoisted over Bataan, Batangas, Cavite, northern Oriental Mindoro, and rest of Occidental Mindoro. Signal number one, meanwhile, is raised over Metro Manila, Pampanga, Southern Zambales, Bulacan, Laguna, Calamian Group of Islands, and rest of Oriental Mindoro. Pag-asa warns, flash floods and landslides are expected over Mindoro Island, Bataan, Zambales, Pampanga, Bulacan, and Metro Manila. The heavy downpour and subsequent flooding in Metro Manila last night was caused by combined effects of Typhoon Nona and the Northeast Monsoon. Duran says Metro Manila may begin seeing the sun again this afternoon. Nona is expected to exit the Philippine area of responsibility by Friday as a low-pressure area. Meanwhile, Pag-asa says a tropical depression was spotted 1,425 kilometers east-southeast of Mindanao as of 2 a.m. It will be named Onyok once it enters the Philippine area of responsibility, which is expected to be this afternoon. Duran says it might hit eastern Mindanao as a typhoon. However, there's also a growing chance that Onyok might also hit eastern Mindanao. Rex Remitio, CNN, Philippines. Topping world headlines.